Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Malcolm V8. Today we're talking CCRM, specifically how to tie the low speed and the high speed fan relays together mechanically. And there's a few reasons you might want to do that. For example, if you're running a standalone ECU, uh, an MS3 or a Holly or something else like that, you would only have to use one of your outputs on the ECU to trigger both relays. Instead of using up two outputs, you, know, you get to free one of them up. Or if you're on a stock ECU, for example, you might have a single speed fan, an aftermarket fan that you upgraded to, and you'd like both high speed and low speed to turn on together. Now typically in a stock ECU, there's no benefit to freeing up an output on the ECU, so to speak. So you would just go into the tune and adjust high speed and low speed fans to turn on at the same time. But maybe you don't have access to the tune or you have to get with a tuner and spend a bunch of money or go through some hassle. So there's a way that we can do that. Now it's not as simple as just tying the two input wires together because they have different requirements for turning on. So let's go ahead and take a look at the car and I'll show you the harness side and the wires and we can show you how we can make that happen. All right, here we're at the fender well of the car, passenger side, and here is the harness for the CCRM. That's where the module would plug in right here. And you can see I've wired in this relay harness to attach in here and that's what's gonna help work the magic on it. And the numbers are marked on here if you look carefully, but the wires of interest, we have pin number 14 is this blue wire. And that is the signal wire for the low speed relay in the CCRM. Then for a ground, it's right next to it, pin 15. It's black with a white stripe. Right next to it is a plain black wire. That's actually for AC, don't use that one. And then the other wire is pin 17. Let's see, where is that one at? It's a green one with a purple stripe. I've cut it here and fed it into the relay at 17 and then for power for your relay you can use either 24 or 12 they're actually the same thing they're both PCM power so exactly how this works let's go take a look at a wiring diagram that'll make it make a lot more sense all right so here's the diagram of how I wired in that relay to the CCRM I'm just going to show you just a bare CCRM initially just to kind of explain how it works when you key on and it gets power pin 14 for low speed pin 17 for high speed they actually supply 12 volts out. You don't supply current in, they supply it out. And by default, in this state right here, the low speed relay would be on and the high speed would be off. And what the ECU does to turn off the low speed is it pulls this pin down to ground and that turns the low speed off. And I imagine they do that for um, you know, safety backup measures. So if this connection was broken or lost or something happened, the fan would just turn on and run and the engine wouldn't overheat because the ECU couldn't tell it to turn on. So that's fairly common to do stuff like that. And it's also why if you've ever flashed a car with a handheld tuner, you'll notice that while you're flashing it, the fan's running the whole time. That's because the ECU has been rebooted and it's in a new state getting a, a tune and it's not pulling this pin down to ground. And so the fan just defaults on and that's why you hear it. The high speed on the other hand is the exact opposite its default state is off, and when you pull it down to ground like that, then you turn it on. So they, they work in reverse, ground to turn off, ground to turn on. So with bearing that in mind, let's take a look at how we wired this up. Pin 14 for low speed, we don't really have to do anything, it goes to the ECU, the ECU will pull it down to ground to turn that off. It'll release it, let the pin just float and go to turn it on high. So for the high speed, we're gonna use a five pin relay and, and you have to use a five pin relay that has that center pin because it has two of the three wires. The third wire would be there of the high currents. We're not gonna use that third one. We're going to use the two that are in the normally closed condition, always making contact even when the relay doesn't have power. And it's going to close that circuit between 17 and ground and that would turn the high speed on and then Pin 24, 12 volts to our relay, and we're gonna use the same common ground. This is the whole, the whole point of this is to only have one pin on our ECU activating both. And this is how it works. When it supplies a ground current down here, it would turn this one off. It would energize this relay and this contact would snap over to here, breaking contact to the high speed, and so it's off too. So now both of them are off. When the ECU breaks this connection and says no more ground for you, high speed is automatically going to flip on. This relay is going to turn off, which means that its contact is going to snap into its default resting position. And it's essentially going to ground that pin and turn it on. So there we go. Both turned on, both turned off with just one pin activating it over here on your ECU. 
All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it to you so you can actually see it in action. This is connected to the low speed output of the CCRM and this is the high speed, just to make it easier. We have two meters at the same time. I literally cut the wires here and got access to the outputs from the CCRM that would go to the fan so we can look at the high speed and low speed circuit independently. And over here, we have the CCRM plugged in and I have just the harness here, the relay is not in. So it should just work in default state right now. So let's take a look. Okay, initially we can see here both our um, outputs of nothing, just millivolts kind of just bouncing around. So I'm gonna go over here and just tell it to turn the fan on. And there we go. Low speed circuit is on, high speed is off. That's just on millivolts, it's basically it's nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back off. And we can see that turns off. Now let's add the relay in onto the harness. Okay, now with our relay in place, we're gonna go ahead and do fan on again. Single ECU input. And boom, look at that. Low speed and high speed on the CCRM are both turned on simultaneously with just one from the one input from the ECU. Alright guys, there you have it. That's how we can tie our low speed and high speed relays together in the CCRM mechanically and only use one output from our ECU. Now I could have opened up the CCRM and modified the circuit board in there and made the same thing happen and not have to put a relay on the harness over there. The reason I chose not to is because it keeps stock parts completely usable, meaning if the CCRM gives me problems, I can just pull it out and just get any one off the shelf or a junkyard, swap it in and it works. The customizations are not in the serviceable parts that you're gonna be replacing. So that's why I chose to go that route. So hope you guys enjoyed that tip. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. See you guys in the next one. Take care.